Hey guys, welcome back to DNA Farms. Danielle here, and we are at the six week mark. The Golden Girls have hit six weeks, and uh, just gonna discuss some of the changes that'll happen for this week. So this week, a big one is removing the heating plate from their brooder. Um, the indoor temperature is about 70 to 75, so the girls are pretty much fully feathered and should be able to handle that temperature. So this week we're gonna remove that heater because the plan is next week, um, when they're about seven weeks old, is to officially move out to the coop. In addition this week, another change that we're going to make is um, taking the girls outside. They have never experienced the outdoors yet. Uh, we were waiting, one, because the temperatures outside have been heat index of 110 and we didn't want lethargic little chicks running around. So now that we've started to hit back where we're back into the mid 80s and maybe a little up to the 90s, we thought this is the perfect time to start transitioning them. We also didn't wanna just stick them out there the first time and say, okay hey girls, good luck, see you in the morning. So instead, we're gonna take and slowly introduce them outdoors every day a little bit to their coop and run area, making sure that they're coming back in um, for the evening. And that way we can slowly start to transition them over the next week so that it won't be such a shock to them. We also want them to experience things that they're going to feel, wind, potentially rain, the sounds of lawnmowers, dogs barking, and uh, can just allow them to kind of experience those things so it's, again, not such a shock. So those are the major changes for um, this week. So how about now we just take a look at these uh, golden girls and you can see how much they seem to be growing um, so fast each week. Okay, as you can see, all four girls still love to roost. I figure we'll just talk about each one again a little bit. So we have Sophia. Sophia is my road all in red. Um, in another video, I discussed each of their breeds, but um, Sophia has definitely continued to be the sweet, mild-mannered chicken. Um, she prefers to just sit up there and start to fall asleep and roost. Next to her is my Isa Brown, Dorothy. Dorothy has, I felt like has changed the most in appearance. Um, she was like a little lighter dark brown when she was a baby chick and she has really developed some beautiful uh, feather markings and color. And it's been interesting watching her change and um, it's funny that I named her Dorothy and her Sophia because in the Golden Girls they are mother-daughter combo and it's funny how much they have started to look a little similar. Um, next of course is my buff Orpington Blanche, still feisty as ever. She is, I'm pretty sure, the leader of the pack. Um, but she too is curious, inquisitive, she will usually be the one to try things first, um, and <laughs> it's just a bossy little girl who I have fallen very much in love with. And over there, Miss Rose, she too has changed a lot in appearance. She was a super little, tiny, bright yellow, fuzzy girl, and her being my amber link, she has become almost all white. I am watching her and her comb because she seems to have the darkest comb out of everybody so far, but it's not red yet. It's it's just a light pink. Um, so, you know, I've been kind of keeping an eye and checking her feathers out to make sure she is a rose and not a rod. Uh, if you see anything that I'm missing on any of my ladies, feel free to leave me a comment. But I am keeping my fingers crossed that I have four egg-laying hens here. But as you can see, they're just enjoying life and I think they're ready to really experience the outside world. And I think their minds are going to be blown when they realize they can have 
so much more space than this little uh, brooder they've been in for the past five weeks. So there you have it, the six week mark and next week makes the big move. I'm excited about sharing that with you. If you're enjoying these videos, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe button, and the share.